Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Cinema is an Art. Today I am reviewing the Decameron directed by an Italian filmmaker Pier Paolo Pasolini. The Decameron is an anthology film. In this film we get to see 9 different short stories that are adopted from 14th century Giovanni Boccaccio's short stories collection. The Decameron is Pasolini's first film from the trilogy of life. The other two films from this trilogy are The Canterbury Tales and Arabian Nights. The Decameron is known as Pasolini's happiest film and I kind of agree with that. I do find it funny and filled with humor. However, the stories are kind of little dark at the same time. All the short stories in this film have the theme of money, sex and religion. It does not mock the religion but exposes the hypocrisy of people of faith. Or maybe it does a little bit of mockery but just a little bit. Look in the first story, the thieves are making faces while making the cross sign in the church. That's mocking. And in Horny Nun story, where a guy who acts like speechless dumb and goes to church to work for nuns. However, his ultimate motive is to have sex with them. And the nuns are also like he can't speak so he won't be able to tell anyone that he had sex with nuns. But it becomes a problem when every nun wants to have sex with him every day. It's not physically possible for a man to make out with 15 to 20 women every day. So he speaks, either create some kind of system or I won't do it. And none is like a miracle, miracle, a speechless dumb man can speak. They are trying to portray it like Jesus planned that. These nuns will make out with this speechless man and his ability to speak will come back. You see how ridiculously hypocritical these nuns are? Then there is a story of a man who has sinned all kind of sins, a murderer who became a saint after dying, portraying the superstition of religion. How much faulty the concept of religion is, where even a murderer is celebrated as a saint. A story of a man who catches his daughter fucking another man. Then because the man is rich, he marries his daughter to him. There is a story of a honor killing. Another story where it's told that having sex is not sin while throwing light on religion. All these stories in this film revolve around money, sex and church. And you can see Pasolini's worldview, I mean how he sees the world. He was a non-believer and you can sense it while watching the film. In fact, in one story, he acts as a painter who is painting the church wall and his inspiration is the people around him. His ideology, his beliefs can be seen in this film. One thing that I liked in this film is how smooth the transition is from one story to another. It's so smooth that you won't even realize that another story is already beginning. Most anthology films are edited in such a way that you realize when the story is ending and when there is a new beginning but not in the Decameron. I like the smoothness here. Pasolini uses nudity to shock the audience. You see flashes of penis and vagina which wasn't needed. This film could have been much better without it. It's already fun, why use shock treatment then? These stories are already very entertaining. Even the cast is distinguishable in this film. Some characters have these facial features that you will remember for a very long time. It's kind of a film that you will remember for a very long time. Even the landscape and buildings and vineyards have this quality that you will remember it. This film has this earthy vibes, down to earth vibes that I dig. It's very fun, entertaining and of course shocking at some times. I enjoyed watching it and I highly recommend this film to everyone. So that's my review of Pasolini's The Decameron. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.